Did you just buy an Imagine? Because I want to show you what it does. Get it out of the box and play with it because it is a most wonderful machine. Come on over here. I want to show you what the machine is set up like. This is where your threads will go. These are the loopers, and these are the needles, and then you've got your telescoping up there. This right here is a pressure foot adjusting screw. Over here, you have your stitch selector, and this will change according to what stitch you're going to do. And then of course, down here, you've got the looper threader, and we'll do that in another video so that you can see how to do that. And this right here is your differential feed. If it goes up, it's going to gather. If it goes down, it's going to stretch. That would be important if you're doing a stretch knit that maybe it's gathering too much and you need to either gather it or stretch it. That's where you're going to come. Normally, it's going to be in the end, the neutral part. All right, right over here, this is your length knob. So that will change the length of your stitch. Or you'll notice right here we have a gray area. That is your rolled edge area. And your stitching selector will tell you how to put that in there. This is your width knob. There's a couple ways I want you to remember this. When I turn this, if you watch the blade right there, it moves the blade. So it's going to affect the width of the stitch. But a lot of people like to remember that by calling it the widow knob. It's the widow knob that does the width. But there you go. And right here is your blade up or down. So it's locked down and then it goes up. Right here we have the subsidiary looper. I'm gonna pull that down so you can see. And see that will flip over and get stuck in there. And that is just telling the machine that that port will be plugged. This right here is how you can adjust the looper tensions. And I never do that. I never have a reason to have to do that. And then right over here, this is the needle threader, and I'll have my needle up where they're gonna be threaded. This will come down and thread the needle for you. So that's the parts of your machine. So next time we'll talk about threading the machine.